Okay, I'm running two Cascade 1000 filters. This one over here just loops around, connects up to some Schedule 40 pipe half inch and goes back to the aquarium. And the other one uh, goes actually up and drips down into a uh, tub here filled with pot scrubbers. Kind of a wet dry filter then and that goes back to the aquarium. Each of these uh, Cascade 1000s have three trays in them. Most of the time I just fill them with uh, white floss. But I wish to improve upon that and get some biologic filtering going. My aquarium is a 120 gallon fish tank here. Uh, it has a variety of just small fish as well as three very large go uh, goldfish. And as you know, goldfish are kind of poop machines. So that's kind of the consideration I have of trying to get control of the nitrogen cycle. Now let's talk about that. Let's go over here, where it's a little quieter. Now, as Gene Simmons of the band KISS always is saying that the first thing you should do when making a video, especially a porno video or any video, is lock the camera down. It makes it so much more enjoyable for people to watch later. First thing I did, I tried to use lava rock. It's got lots of holes in it. I thought it was going to be great. It wasn't I was tell I was actually washing this stuff and putting it in the trays and I noticed that, you know, the holes don't actually connect with each other. They're just on the surface. And the, the, the stone itself, this doesn't absorb water. You don't put it in water, take it out, and expect the level of the water to be gone. It doesn't absorb. And that's key if you want to form anaerobic bacteria. So here's my thought. I thought I would use this here stuff, pumice. Comes in these uh, scouring sticks. It's only about a dollar sixty cents. They're very nice, clean, and they're cut to really going to shape that will fit really good inside my uh, trays for my filter. There's another product that was part part of a uh, when you clean your grill. This is a man-made product. This water just you know really does flow into this well. It absorbs, and uh, I guess it's going to last forever. It was four dollars and some. So it's a little more expensive, but look at the size of this block you get. My question is, has anybody ever used this and do you get good results? Will it achieve um, the anaerobic bacteria that I'm looking for? I mean, this stuff, this stuff everybody was saying, oh, it's just like uh, biohome. It's just like biohome. Well, it's not. It's a it's not. Even though the lightest stuff, it doesn't absorb water. And you've got to have that. This stuff does absorb water, and I think this stuff will too. So I'm hoping, has anybody got any real results that I, you know, I could look at and trust? Well, let me know.